Google Chrome is now disabling ad blockers and has an ad block ability in since last year. This is why that's a problem. What's going on guys? My name's Jake, you're watching Meat Source. And today, we're gonna to be doing a video, a bit of a heart to heart, about an issue that I heard about recently. Now, I might be a little bit, a little bit fucking behind the eight ball here, but it's a, it's an important issue, none the fucking less. Where do I get started? Well. Yay. <sighs> Google added ad blocking back in February of 2018. And you're like, Cool, that's, uh, 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 that's fucking awesome. You know, they care about the people, care about me, they care about you. But, you know, I like to think that there's something else going on here. You know, it's a bit fucking conspiracy theory, but there's absolutely something going on here. Now, a majority of people don't use, probably the greater population probably doesn't really know what an ad blocker is. I mean, it, the, it says what it is in the name, but a lot of people probably don't even know how to add extensions. In, uh, in Google Chrome. Greater majority of the population, right? So, if Google is integrating its own ad blocker into Google Chrome, well, that just means that they can decide which ads are displayed. Now, Google Chrome is the most popular and most widely used fucking browser in all the land, everywhere. Everyone uses Google Chrome. Companies, small businesses, me, you, you, everyone. But if we're only being served ads that Google wants us to be served, then there's a little bit of a, an issue there because ads are the internet. The internet is basically just one giant fucking advertisement, you know? It's, what, what do you use the internet for? You use it to buy shit, which is shit you've seen through ab other advertising. And when you're buying that shit, there's more advertising. You watch movies and videos, and there's more fucking advertising. It's just everywhere. There's fucking advertising everywhere. And just about everything you could possibly conceive of, you could possibly think of that you use the internet for, there's advertising involved. So we've got that out the way. Got that shit out the way. Next thing, I'm gonna move on to an article that I found on Forbes. Dot com and there's plenty of fucking other articles and YouTube videos about this but this is just the first motherfucking one that I found. Now, interestingly enough, right, I've been talking about Google Ads and in between cuts here, I have my old Facebook up and you know, something interesting, you know, this is a slight off topic fucking talk here, but watch what ad is on my Facebook. Google Ads? What? How incredibly interesting. You know, uh, coincidence? I think not. Anyway, back to this. Google Chrome upgrades will break some ad blockers. So as I was saying, ads are the internet. Pretty much it, you know, that the uh, internet is the ads. And basically with almost, like as, as it's saying here, almost 70% market share. It's, I think it's actually closer to 75%, somewhere around there. Chrome, everyone's got Chrome. You, your grandma, your fucking, your old mate, we all have it. The thing is, is that it's only blocking out some ad blockers, right? But it's also letting some through. Now, the ones that are letting through are the ones that follow a certain guideline. And if you don't follow this guideline, you're fucked. You're fucked. It is out. Dead. And that brings up a question, like, <sighs> if you're not following Google's guidelines and showing, I don't know, if, are, you, are you showing the ads that Google wants you to show and are they part of Google's fucking line of ads that they want you to show, which happen to be Google ad services? You know, this is just interesting to me that it's all kind of falling into place. They're first, they integrated ad blocker, so the, the masses, everyone has an ad blocker and ads that they don't want are being blocked out and now a majority of ad blockers that don't follow their guidelines are being blocked out. Eh, you, you see where I'm going with this? It, it's just, it is some dodgy ass shit in my opinion. Now, Google has stated that the short answer is security, as, as, as you can read right there. Basically, it's they're cracking down on extensions' ability to be able to uh, run their own code, which is a good thing, because there probably are some malicious 
extensions out there that probably do some bad shit to your computer and install spyware and other malicious things. But ad blockers, 99 times out of fucking 100, that's the ad blockers are a good thing, especially ones that block everything. You know, there's there's the argument to be made that you need to support websites and creators in general, no matter what their platform, through advertising, because that's how you earn money on, on a free internet, on a free platform. But I'm not going to tell you that you shouldn't use one because there are safety benefits to using one. I mean, I've used one. In fact, I'm using one right now through Firefox. I've just allowed certain um, ads to come through whitelisted and I didn't choose that the, the, the ad blocker chooses for me but ideally it gets rid of the malicious ads so basically your porn ad I, I don't want that shit you know I, I, I don't need it it's if you want porn you know where to look you don't need some fucking pop-up coming on your screen and, 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 and clicking the fuck out of it you know so I believe it's ad block plus is one of the ones that are still allowed and they follow their guidelines and what's What's, what's this one? Adblock Plus. And funnily enough, that looks like a Google ad to me. So they obviously still allow Google ads. So I'm not gonna go into this, this article in too much detail. I'll have it linked in the description of this video. But it's essentially, Google is controlling every aspect of the internet. And if you didn't know already, the, the old Edge browser that, that Windows 10 comes with is no more. Well, it, I don't know if it is officially yet, but it will be. It's gonna still exist exist but it's actually going to run on the chromium engine which is what google chrome runs on so it, google is slowly but surely taking over the internet and it's mind-boggling you know i i don't want to live in a world where the internet is monopolized by one single company i think that is a bad ass thing and not in the good way it's not a bad ass thing that is just a bad motherfucking thing because when it's decided what we are seen by some CEO who thinks he knows better what we can and can't see and what we should and shouldn't be served. I mean, they're just advertisements, but it, I think it goes deeper than just advertising in the end. It's not just advertising. It's bigger than that because what's next, you know? Are we gonna be, I'm talking years from now, it might not happen, but are we gonna be showing only the websites that we wanna be, I mean, Google already kinda does that. I mean, that's the reason why a lot of people use other search en engines like DuckDuckGo and, and all that kind of thing because Google prioritizes web search results based on what they want you to see. So there, there could be some really good shit out there that you have no idea that even fucking exists because Google wants you to think that. You know, they're still technically giving you access to it because if you dig hard enough, you will find it. But the majority of us, we ain't gonna find it, plain and simple. So yeah, I just wanted to kind of make this video to, to point out my concerns with, with what old Googs Goog Dog is doing is doing here because we're going into a, a world that is just controlled by one fucking group. That ain't good guys, that ain't good. But so goes the fucking the wheel of life. It just keeps on rolling and we just keep on riding that fucking train. That's my analogy. Gonna roll with it. Anyway guys, throw in a comment below. Do you agree with me? Do you think I'm just being a fucking weird cunt? Am I just digging into this a little bit too deep? Or is this a hundred percent the fucking exactly what's happening? I don't mind if you if you say that you don't agree with me, that, that's perfectly acceptable. It totally is. Hit like if you like this, because you know, that just makes fucking sense. And uh, subscribe, you know, because, you know, I do shit like this. Well, actually this is the first one I've done, but I will be doing more shit like this uh, if you like this style of video. And I uh, also do a whole bunch of reviews and shit, you know, like every other motherfucker. <sighs> My God, gassy as fuck. Anyway guys, thanks for watching. Cheers.